Read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So everybody that heard the laws, statutes, and commandments coming out. How we supposed to dress, all right? How we supposed to move uh, in marriage, not in fornication, okay? Things of that nature. How we supposed to worship the black messiah, the Jesus of the Bible, not the Christianity, uh, uh, so-called Jesus of putting up Caesar Borgia as Christ of the Bible. So, blessed are they that do the black messiah's commandments, read, that they may have right to the tree of life. My brother, do you want heaven? Do you want the kingdom of heaven? My sisters, my young brother, do you want the kingdom of heaven? Do y'all like it here? Is everything good in the hood for us? Are we in heaven right now? No, we're not. So blessed are they that keep his commandments. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. The tree of life is the kingdom of heaven. That was only created for you, so-called Israelites that's on this sign. Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. It may enter in through the gates into the city. So the tree of life is immortality that what? Leads us into the kingdom of heaven under the black Messiah. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of death. Everywhere we look around, especially with the black suspended Native Americans, it's death climbing all up through our windows. That's all we know is death. We trying to keep the law, statute, commandments so we can get eternal life. Be immortal. Because the Israelites are the immortals. You watch X-Men, they talking about the Israelites. The Israelites are the immortals. Bring it out. But we only going to get that. If we keep the commandments that has been brought out earlier, okay, drop that. We we'll hope four and one. But there's a flip side to every to every scripture in the Bible, which is your history book. This Bible is your history book. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and this is the only true book on the planet, which officer brought out earlier, and it belongs to you, 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 and you, and you, my brother. It belongs to you too, bro. Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. And that's what we've been bringing out. Commandments. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. Once this sun goes down completely, the Sabbath is over. The Sabbath never been on a Sunday. What day of the week is Sunday? It's the first day of the week. The commandment is the seventh day of the week is the Lord's day. And that's the day. No buying or selling. No working. No cooking with hot food. That's the laws given to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So, read again. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it out. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endure forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever! Why do modern day Christianity say the law is done away with? We just read the law endures forever. Because this is the book. This is the records of the laws. But Christianity tells us, because we're the ones that fill the churches, that we don't have to keep no laws. They're keeping us in destruction. They're setting us up for the nuclear war. World War III that's going to happen. Because everybody that's not blessed and keeping these laws and commandments is going to be burnt with fire and brimstone. Destruction is coming. What y'all thought nuclear weapons was made, created for no reason? Hold that. Give me, give me Peter. Give me 2 Peter 3, verse 10. Start at verse 9. To show y'all, destruction is also in the Bible. Because like I said, with every scripture, there's a flip side to that precept. Or to that scripture. So, keep the commandments, get immortality, be blessed. You can walk through the gates into the kingdom because you hearken unto the black Messiah. Don't keep his commandments. Don't learn his statute commandments that was given to the black Spanish Native Americans. Guess what's waiting for us? Read. 
the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, and some men count slackness. His promise to the nation of Israel to give this whole world back to us through the covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the descendants of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And those covenants and promises written in the book of the law belongs to us, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. But as long as suffering to us work, the Lord is patient. That's grace. That's mercy. Bring it out. For us to repent. That's right. From our sins, transgressing his laws. He's patient with us, showing his mercy for us to repent and come back to his, to his book, uh, book of uh, uh, law, statutes, and commandments that was only given to us. Read. But as long suffering to us work, not willing that any should perish. That what? That any should perish. That's the mercy that he's having on the whole house of Israel now. He don't want none of us to die. He don't want to destroy none of us. But we stiff neck and hard head and rebellious and don't want to hearken to his prophets that stand before you today. We don't want to hearken to the book of the law that has the most high's words in it. Read. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You see that? The long suffering is grace that we all should come to repentance in keeping God's laws. Read. But the day of the law will come as a thief in the night. We don't know that day. Matter of fact, the black Messiah Jesus Christ said, no man. He don't know. The angels don't know when the Heavenly Father is going to send him back the second time. To what? To take over this world back in righteousness and destroy all wickedness and the sinners of his people out of this world. Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. With a great noise. You have some years on you. I see your wisdom flourishing through. What was a great noise that happened in 1948 on the other side of the world? A great noise, like a boom. A great noise. 1948, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay? World War II, what happened? The atom bomb was dropped. The atom bomb, a nuclear bomb was dropped in those two countries. That's a great noise. Nuclear bombs, nuclear missiles make great noise. This is the day of the Lord. This is the day of the Lord we're reading about on the, the Black Messiah's second coming. That's what's awaiting the sinners and the wicked people of this world. Nuclear fire. Read. A great noise in the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything that we see before us today is going to be gone. Disintegrated. Melted away by the heat of the nuclear bomb and by the radiation and fire that is going to spew out after it make its great noise. We. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. What manner of persons is you Israelites supposed to be today? Is this all we got to do? Drink, get high, kill one another, break God's laws when destruction is coming on this earth? What type of man or person should we be? We should be a blessed people, a blessed nation, and keeping God's laws. That's right. That's the man of people that we should be. Destruction is coming to this world. That's right. Do you not hear what the prophets is yelling? Destruction is coming. Repent in the grace of your living God that is long suffering with you to repent and keep his laws. He don't want you to perish in the nuclear fire, in the destruction that's soon to come. Back to Baruch 4 and 1 and read it. Baruch 4 and 1 and read it. Be blessed in keeping God's laws and get immortality and get the kingdom of heaven 
where that kingdom is gonna that kingdom is gonna last forever. That's right. Read the book of Baruch, chapter four and verse one. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Shall what? Shall die. If you don't want to keep the commandments that the Most High God has given you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're going to die. And that ain't talking about our death right now. Because we dead as a people right now. No, this is talking about spiritual death. Your soul ever in condemnation in fire and brimstone. That death. So understand, be mindful. Be mindful. First John 5 and 3. First John 5 and 3. And I don't want my brothers and sisters to get it twisted when we, your brothers, come out here. I want y'all to understand why we here. Why we do what we do. Because I'm going to tell you what. T.D. Jakes ain't going to come out here and face y'all face to face. Bring it out! Right. Chris yeah. Rodora ain't going to come out here and face y'all face to face. Any pastors in this neighborhood or in the state of Ohio or in the city of Columbus ain't going to come out here and face y'all face to face and give y'all true life living words out of y'all's Bible. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. This is love that you see the man before you in purple with the fringes, with the ribbon of blue, with the beards on our face, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments that was given to us. This is the love we're showing y'all and teaching y'all God's commandments. Read again. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. Do your Christian pastors teach y'all to keep the commandments? No. So what did that mean? That they hate your living guts. They hate your living guts. Pay them that money, that's all they care about. That's what they love. But do they love you? No. Because if they love you, they will tell you to keep God's commandments. They will show you what commandments you're breaking. Getting drunk is breaking God's commandments. Right. You Israelites cannot be drunkards. You cannot contaminate your body with marijuana, mollies, sets, cocaine, PCP, heroin, crack cocaine. That is breaking God's laws. But that's love that we're showing y'all. That's we right. Again. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. That's why we are here because we love y'all. Just as the Most High God, our God, don't want to see any of His people perish, we feel the same way that stand before you in purple. We don't want to see y'all die. We don't want to see y'all miss the kingdom. Because y'all don't want to hearken and keep God's laws. We don't. And His commandments are not grievous. The Most High commandments is not hard. It's just a choice. What do you want to do? You want to do what the flesh wants to do? Or do you want to keep God's commandments and control our minds and our flesh on what it want to do and do what God says to do? That's right. It's only a choice. It's not hard. How hard is it? To be celibate until you get a husband, until you get a wife. How hard is that? How hard is it to stop drinking alcohol? Do you need alcohol to live? No. You need water and bread to live. You stop drinking alcohol today, you will not die. Right. 
You stop drinking water, you stop eating bread, you're going to starve to death. So what am I saying? I'm saying alcohol is not important. It's not a necessity that you need. No drug is a necessity that you need to survive. Right. Hold that. Give me um. Give me wisdom of Solomon 16 and 12. Wisdom of Solomon 16 and 12. Chapter 16 and verse 12. For there was neither herb nor motherfucking plaster that restored them to health. Listen good. Because when you start to detox off that alcohol, that strong liquor, you start to detox, go cold turkey off crack cocaine, heroin, PCP, and many others, too many to name, read. Thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. You see that? It's the word of God that will heal you. That's right. It's the living word of God that you need to live upon. Back to 1 John 5 and 3. But this is the love. Love has never been easy. Why? Because there's sin in the earth. People want to do what they want to do. Y'all never heard of tough love? You're seeing tough love. That's right! Right before you, the man in purple is giving you tough love. That's right. Read it. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not grievous. We show you love, sister. Sisters, brothers. We have to learn God's laws. I hope everybody out here has a flyer with all our information on it. We have online classes seven days a week. Start your repenting by learning God's laws. That's the only way to the kingdom of heaven. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth